So, uh, from group B, uh, D, we move over to group C, where things currently look like this. 15 Sway defeated Pink 2-0. And Focus defeated Chemico 2-0, so our game is Korea versus China. We will finally have the first Chinese in the round of 8. Otherwise, it could be quite a disaster for them, to be honest. Chemico pretty good against uh, 15 Sway, I would think. And 1-0, the hope of all Chinese and Linguagua find themselves in the lower bracket of Group D as well. But all right, a little bit of a clash of generations. The former LP club member Focus, 32 years old against the current LP club member uh, 15 Sway. Still hoping to see more and better results of 15 Sway after his great WGL run. He kind of dipped a little again. We will watch all six games. I have no clue, guys. I'm just following the Chinese broadcast, okay? I I have no saying in what they pick. Uh, I don't know. Did he steal that? No, he didn't. So, focus bottom left in the red. 15 sway with Night Elf in the blue. And I guess... Wait... Blade Master opening, okay. No big surprise here on Northern Isles. To me, Focus is the big favorite, to be honest. And yeah, we kick things off with Treants. Makes sense. G le basically guaranteed level 2. Only if you're harassed by the Blade Master instantly. This might be... delayed. But it isn't, so... Here it is, your free level 2. Focus didn't want to take the risk of harassing right away, but rather do damage now, and that results in an archer kill early. Yikes, and a tree and as well. Ideally, that shouldn't happen. Hunters are coming. So it's no off meta like we've seen before in. Reminds games, for example. Oh, amazing inventory for Focus as well. Absolutely gorgeous. Also, illusions help with creeping. And Focus, like, he's really good in this matchup. Grant's coming, then Shaman at some point to push. A little bit of a break. In the meantime, I want to point out that tonight there is a Meta Plays Cup. And I would love for you to sign up. We need more sign-ups for that. I think at the moment there's 15 or something. Cool initiative by Meta Plays. Carson's gonna cast it. So if you have time this evening to play for a little bit of gold, a little bit of money and points, then sign up for the Meta Plays. I'll be casting tomorrow's Bronze Cup, by the way, for the four-player uh, Bronze Cup for all amateurs out there. <laughs> snack, snack! Plate Master gets some more XP. And that prevents level 3 Keeper for a while. Not too sure how much. And if he creeps the normal expansion like he used to, there should still be level 3, but always feels bad. Focus got a good timing down. And with the plus 8 damage... Ah, no, it's too late. A player's force is under attack. I need a Grassley Cup. Well, Bronze Cup is basically a Grassley Cup. 
this Blade Master is such a beast, guys. But okay, Keeper is close to level 3. But... Oh, he needs both, right? Who focus a little late. But if he gets this, there's no... I don't even know if it's level 3. Oh no, what a disaster. Needs another camp for this. The Shadow Hunter is already out. Focus is having fun here. A player's force. Yeah, what do you do without level two entangle? It's really an issue. Interesting to see focus creeping with a blade. Maybe just wants to speed this up and make sure he gets the experience. Ra ra ra! Ah. But there's no forces for 15 sway here. Almost this round. Whoopsie! Slides through this. 120 critical strike on level one. Yo, 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 let's go. Let's go. But okay, this feels good. This feels better. Acid bomb and tangle focus fire. Shadow Hunter a little out. But he's just running straight into the serpent wards. There's two hunters almost down. Little attention on the tower, but that can just easily reposition. Gets a little greedy here. Wants the shaman and the grunt. And I think he might be able to get it. Oh, but not with the pressure on the heroes. Oh, Purge comes in. Oh, the Blade Master is just way too crazy. There's still a TP, right? But... Blade Master has Windwalk too. Ring of Region very good in this situation. Good defense. Oh, two claws. There's a claw plus nine on top. Yeah, right? Holy moly. Usually hunts are designed to tank a little bit, but not against this blade master. Thank you for so much entertainment in the past couple of weeks and months. My pleasure, man. We had great content, I think. Level 3 blade, what he got? Hellstone would be nice, I think. One of the wind is always nice. Treants are there. Has to purge. Oh, 15 sway trying to brute force. This is a good delay. I like it. Playing around the army quite a bit. He can't afford to lose the keeper on the left hand side. So I wonder what he's doing there. But okay, everything seems fine. Goodbye. Mana stone. Whoa, plus 19 damage. Backstab. Crit for 112. Oi, oi, oi. And yeah, he just dies, man. He just dies to get a blade. <laughs> that is a sharp knife if I ever saw one. Focus with the Blade Master. Such a great execution. Now the tower is up. I don't really know what 15 Sway can do. Oh no, almost a surround here. He has a potion, but... Yeah, Acid Bomb is his best shot, but without Entangle, how do you control this fight? This is good kills for 15 Sway. Way more than I thought. But this... There's also no big creep spots for 15 sway. Focus is just paying attention to units. Not much to heroes at this point. Everything's so hard. Yeah, this was big trades. Oh, purge. Oh, backstab. Oh, dead. How? Freaking crazy he outleveled him. 
That is absurd. Of course, it's not like pure dominance as focus is losing some units too. But did you guys ever feel that focus is not in control? I don't. Ah, the observer forgot the skill to just click on a hero portrait, by the way. Small lead. <laughs> yeah, tiny, tiny. Okay, the heroes are back for a bit. I've never seen such a safe orc expo. More defend upgrades. Not even the slightest sign of a tier 3. And this is why archers need 50, plus 50 HP as all night elves have been crying for so long. Yeah, they also need fortified armor, um, spell resistance, and you know that that spell of the of the fairy dragon to dodge every second shot. And built in spirit link. How about that? God mode? I mean... You could just replace the archers with the owl from the bottom. Just give the damage to the owl. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea. Also, they, they should just be constantly invisible. Like Dark Templar in StarCraft. We need Neo to be part of the balance team, right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Pulverize on Arch is also a good idea, but for the projectile, right? Not for the arches themselves. Just where the arrow goes is a little bit of AOE. Yeah, basically like a uh, splash of, uh, of ancient protectors. Unplayable archers. Constant in invisibility is too much just at night. You might be right. You might be right, I was a little too extreme on that. Well, well, Scroll of the Beast, this Blade Master crits for 225 on level 2 crit. He's an absolute madman, breaks through the entangle with the invo potion. Alchemist is trying his damn hardest, but what do you do? Well, gotta staff out, I guess. Focus at 60. He is losing a couple of units. Alchemist is kinda healthy again. But I just don't see a way to deal with this Blade Master. 195 and perch and oh nice tp actually this was focus committing a lot to the hero new your camera control is way better now i appreciate it thank you i say for a long time that my camera control is the best probably in the world not saying that it's perfect But this is something I'm really confident about. I'm not very comfortable, uh, confident in a lot of other things. But my camera work while talking and while producing, that's pretty good. Kappa in the world. Who's better? Who's better? Yeah. 
See? No answer. So we do have tier 3. Potom is coming. A player's forces are under attack. Four four heroes. Blade Master also has a big healing now. Steals that away. Let's go some. De oh man, he can't even go for detonate because the raiders say nope. Pretty sick. That was the potion right away after killing like six units or something. Raider lightning shield combos. The archer damage is stacking up. Very much appreciating that. But the hunts are just disappearing. That's a little bit of a problem. The kiting for 15 sway seems good, but focus is breaking through. This pace is a little more, more patient, more careful than before. <laughs> that wasn't even a high damage roll crit, and it just wiped out the bottom. That was so fast, I wouldn't even be surprised if the bottom is not showing up at the altar. Game can't process this killing speed. So this must be crit 3, right? Come on. 189, also low damage roll. Oh, blade. Okay, had a heal wave left. And he's coming again. Is there something to save him? Yeah, another TP. Damn, if that's a TP, uh, if that's a crit, I think Keeper is just dead. You're right, Neil. You're the best. Love my audience. How can you not love this audience? Everybody is agreeing with me. I love it. <laughs> Without exception, of course. Can't wait for the YouTube comments for this. Well, 15 Sway is hanging in. Focus never had the big chance of killing his expansion because of other fighting positions. Did he pick crit or windwalk? We can't even see that. Yeah, I don't know. The crits seem on the same level as before. It's definitely mirror image one because it's only one illusion. It kind of looks... I don't know. We haven't seen a Windwalk in some time. But these crits... They don't look like level 3. 207. Steps out the Alchemist. The control by 15 Sway is getting a lot better. But the part of his life is not getting better at all. At all. Oh yeah, he had crit level 1 before, I guess. Windwalk 2, Mirror Image 1, crit level 2. Yeah, for sure. GG! Yikes, guys. Yikes. Burrow Rush, thank you for 100 bits. Super early for you, damn. Yeah, this game was over for 10 minutes or something. So. No! Don't want to get striked. Focus with the lead. That was. Yeah, 15 12 was hanging in there. Had some good trades here and there, but. That Blade Master was pretty much dominant from the second crit spot on. Also, 15 Sways tier 3 is always later compared to the greatest uh, Night Elves. Mirror's nice to finish. Yeah, 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 you're right. I just thought it's... Well, I don't really know what I thought. <laughs> I saw the mirror image, I saw the windwalk, and I still thought it's level 3 crit. You know, sometimes I'm just dumb. I'm just saying I have the best camera control in the game, not that I'm the best caster every time. I do have decent moments. But yeah, not saying, not saying that. I'm not perfect yet, guys. Focus top 5 player. Yeah. Um... Happy Foggy Focus.
And then... I guess that, like, yeah, that's it, I think. Would love to put Hitman in there as well, but the man is not playing tournaments that matter. So who knows? 1-0 to zero looked really good at DreamHack, but today I was not impressed. Focus also has the consist- Moon! Did I, did I not say Moon? Did I say Moon? I didn't say Moon. Moon. So, Happy Moon, Focus Lynn Foggy. That's the top tier right now. Yo, Chiron, are you playing Bronze Cup tomorrow? Love your style, man. You were so fun to cast last week. As we move on to map number two. Tight Hunters. What was that? I had a weird sound on my headset. Well, anyway, we have another game. This is match points for Focus, which would then be a top 8 finish. At least. After Foggy, Lin, Soen and Lawlight. Lining up to be great playoffs again. This Saturday, this Sunday. Of course, on this very channel, everybody. US East mornings with Neo should be a thing. It's a thing. Yeah, for now it's a thing. Usually it's always Remo taking the early results. Uh, the early games. I'm more of an evening person, to be honest. But hope I can help you to start into the day right. So Blade Master again. Some orcs go faster here. Uh, Lin did yesterday. But I guess Blade Master is still the norm. Are there people playing Headhunter vs. Night Elf? Yep. Lynn did it a bit. Focus did it a bit. Feels a little bit like gambling. Or just being sick of playing Blade Master, Grunt, Shaman six times in a row or something. Ooh, interesting to put the Grunt with them. Well, it's not level 2 for a, long, for a while, but if he gets the green at the bottom or the turtles in the middle, this might be level 2 pretty much right away and then, yeah, you shouldn't move the grunt so close. Oh no, Blade Master finds him here. Oh, that's again the same opening as last game with the archer and the treant. Would be a good band name, I guess. There is the garden and the tree, the cover band could be the archer and the treant. Oh, and he gets the item, and this is way too much experience. What a rough start this is. <sighs> Double ring as well, for like, yikes. Focus can get a lot of things done just with the Blade Master. That is so impressive today. And he'll keep tabs on the expansion. We'll staff onto it. Are under 
Feels like a couple of players recently are a bit burned out. I can understand, but I mean, some players are totally fine with playing every tournament, like a Focus, for example, who thrives in this. Others might need a break here and there. More experience, right? Ah! Okay, not too much damage yet. Whoopsie, how did that happen? <laughs> Three mantles, he sold one. Nice play by 15 Sway. Sends the hunt to the south to cancel the healing. Love it. It's sometimes tiny little moves like this that show the greatness of a player. But yeah, focus attacking really fast, Shadow Hunter, uh, of course. Did you hear that? Beep boop. Oh, a little bit of a love story in chat. Two RT allies find themselves here. Love to see that. Okay, 15th way is tech is pretty good, I think. Alchemist already out. At the same time as the Shadow Hunter. I want Neo saying people as my ringtone. Sign up to the Patreon. <laughs> can get voice lines. Some people have that. I think the Pylon show has that. For super high tier Patreons or something. <laughs> Another mantle? Or, or did he pass one? I think it's the sec the fourth one or something. Pretty tame game compared to the the others we had. But of course, Expo is kind of safe here. You don't want to rush. You don't want to run into Entangle. <laughs> Imagine having Neo as a custom announcer. Yeah, what we champions. Can we mod that in? Must be possible, right? To your maps or something. Pretty sure it is. Come on, put some work in. For your biggest supporter. Put some work in for once. <laughs> oh my god. Hope they didn't hear that. Late Master is in. Little too early here. Didn't get the steal. Would we'll start playing again just to hear a sweet voice more. Hope you're listening to our podcast then. Okay, 15 Sway is having a pretty flawless game so far. Love the rings and the alchemist. Love the items here too. Focus can still do this, of course. It's just like there's no pressure on the expansion. There's no counter expansion. Levels aren't that crazy. But I compare it all to game one and there things spiraled out of control for him. Super early and super fast. Here I think 15 Sway is kind of warmed up now. Wait, he's tower pushing. Oh! Oh, 
Okay, let's see where this goes. Lots of serpent wards to cover the watchtowers in the back. And the archers are exposed. Why are they so far forward? Why are they in front of the hunters? That should never happen. 015 sway. Losing a bit of patience. Maybe you want to click down the serpent wards, but man, the focus builds the shop down there as well. Uh, that's rough. Oh, that's real rough. That's already rough. I'd love to see some lightning shields. The acid bombs chip away damage, which is good, but just every engagement is like two to three kills, and you must have mass archers. It's so many snakes, oh my god. Even grab the grunts past enemy lines. And of course, you don't want to win the fight here, you just want to buy time, and he is just towering in his face. This tower push came out of the out of nowhere for 15 Sway. Wasn't prepared for this, didn't scout this, didn't even consider this. Hmm. How do you deal, man? Hunter's Hall gone. Is it gone? I think so. Moonwell's gone, 15 sway supply blocked, I think, should be. Uh, did Focus build a shop? If not, he really should. So since the Hunter Sword is gone, he can't go for Glaive Throwers. So how do you deal with that? How do you deal with the towers? Hunters <laughs> just melt, dude! <laughs> they melt so quickly. Okay. He didn't build a shop, but he just staffed back a bit. Oh no, focus! Perch! Healing! Invul transferred! Sick save. And now there's this huge area where five towers are covering. If you keep the hero safe, that's good. And three towers are up. One covers the right-hand side to prevent new units from streaming in, and the other cover the Tree of, uh, of Ages. Wonderful tower push. Love to see it. <laughs> Late Master level 3. Whoopsie! Shaman a little exposed, huh? Nobody's perfect, I guess. Yeah, I guess Focus saw the Taker is back from traveling. And got inspired. Yeah, he would die for some glaives. But... I think he lost the Hunter's Hall super early. And then you can't build glaives. Now here's the shop, yeah. I think... These matches today are... decided a little early, I feel. Can't he just move the tree? Well, then you can't mine anymore. And Focus would just rebuild new towers, I think. It would take way too long. Well, now he's not mining anymore either, so... <laughs> Blade Master Rex Glaives, that is also true. Blade Master Rex a lot here next. Has to be careful. But the rest of this army will fall in a bit. Alchemist last second in wall is healing a bit. But even the Grunts do enough damage here. Wisps got hurt. Might be an overcommitment by Focus, to be honest. Thanks to that heal spray. But he wanted to end it, wanted to go back to his baby! Pedicana, thank you for the sub! Five months already, love you guys! Love you too. He even built a burrow to keep the peon safe. 
How sweet of focus. Okay, I guess the only chance to kill the blade, but even then, like, even then, what do you do? He's just not using the army, he's just using towers and heroes. Every now and then. Okay, here's the first glaive. And this is what he does to glaives. Thunderstorm on Tide Hunters. Focus another player who advances into the top eight without dropping a map. Yeah, I could clearly see Focus wants to end it now. I had enough! Crit level two. Blade Master moves to the back. Bye bye, Glaive. Bye bye, Archers. 15 Sway has a lot of gold, but no second base anymore. Losing the tag. GG! Yep. Focus. That was pretty good. That was pretty swift, I want to say. Just a 2-0 Tide Hunters Tower Rush out of nowhere. Love to see that, man. A little cheeky outside the box play. And boom, that's the playoffs for you. Another Chinese falls to the lower bracket. And that is the fourth Korean out of five players in the top eight. Foggy, of course, the other one. China struggling. 15 Sway still in for them. Linguagua and 120. But also Chemiko and Sok and Mikhail on the other side of the bracket. So once again, I don't really know what's coming up next. I don't really know what they were playing in the meantime. But Focus Man just continues his dominance. Mikhail versus Sok. Is 1-0 for Sock, so I guess the winner bracket final of group D will not be shown. Then I would guess that we see a lower bracket semi-final? Maybe 1-0 Guagua. We don't really know yet. We know the map of this. Ah, last refuge goes to Sock. All right, um, yeah, as I said, uh, I don't really control the broadcast here. I'm just babbling over what the Chinese give me as a picture. Go into a little break and then we're back with more games here of Yule Cup. If you hit exclamation mark feedback, we have a Reddit thread open where you can tell us what you want to see from the War 3 Champions season finals as we took over the Orga. War 3 Champions didn't want to do them anymore because it was so much stress and so much workload. And we said, boys, Give it to us. Give it to us. We take care. We love the season finals. Everybody loves the season finals. Let's do some season finals. And uh, you can tell us what you want to see. So it's over on Reddit! Exclamation mark. Feedback. See you in a bit. <laughs> 